Shalom, shalom, brothers of Raya Allah coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha HaKodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, love, and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered across the four corners of the planet Earth. This is going to be a quick hit going into uh, Mother's Day, okay? Because... You know, you have uh, Jake mothers, you know, you have, you know, you have all mothers, you know, even in all other nations, man, they, you know, these Christians and everything like that, they, they love this, you know, Mother's Day, okay? And same as Father's Day, but Mother's Day happens to be more uh, a popular day, you know, a, a, a more popular holiday uh, with these Christians, you know, worship, man. They partake in, in all these things, man. When it comes to mother, you get your mother a gift or you got to spoil her where she get a day of rest. She don't have to cook, clean, do anything. And you just take care of her just one day where, where she do that. And we all know that um, the true rest day is the Sabbath, man, the, the Shabbat. OK, a, a day of rest, you know, that was made for man. OK, and, and women also. OK, women also. Right. Where you you wouldn't cook, clean and uh, you wouldn't do no work and everything like that, and you would just, you know, pray to the Lord. You make sure you have all your food ready, you know. But now we're we're held under grace. So, uh, how we keep the Sabbath, right? We get into the scriptures. We do lessons, okay. We do the Lord's work, you know. We pray, you know. We eat, okay. Knowing ourselves, whatever the case may be, that you would like to do on on the Shabbat, okay. Fellowship with the brothers, okay. Um, but I'm gonna go right into it. just an article. Uh, that came up on the uh, Wikipedia, uh, Mother's Day. I went into the origin of the Mother's Day. And all these things you can just, you know, look online. And sure enough, it'll, uh, you know, pop up. But I'm going to read it. It says, Mother's Day, holiday in honor of mothers that is celebrated in countries throughout the world. It is modern from the holiday originated in the United States, where it is observed on the second Sunday in May. Many other countries also celebrated the holiday on this day, while some marked the observance at other times of the year. During the Middle Ages, the custom developed of allowing those who had moved away to visit their home, parishes, and their mothers on Laetree Sunday, the fourth Sunday of Lent. This became Mothering Sunday in Britain, where it continued in modern times. Although it has largely been replaced by Mother's Day, Mother's Day is celebrated on Sunday, May 8th. Uh, 2022. Okay, so um, if I'm not mistaken, um, I believe that uh, Mother's Day is celebrated on the second Sunday um, uh, of May. The second Sunday, or I believe the first. So I get this uh, Sunday is it kind so it says uh, Mother's Day is celebrated on May 8th, uh, 2022. Okay. So uh, jumping down, it says Anna Jarvis of Philadelphia, whose mother had organized women's groups, OK, to promote friendships and health. OK, so women's groups, man, you had the uh, women's rights movements, you know, you had all these different, you know, women groups, OK, for women power, man. So women can be entitled, you know, you had the feminism groups, OK, when women can be created equal as men, OK, and. This was something to promote friendship and health, okay? It says, originated Mother's Day. It says, on May 12th, 1907, she held a memorial service at her late mother's church, <laughs> right, in church in Grafton, West Virginia, okay? So, this is this was a, a, a Christianity thing, right? A, a, a false, you know, holiday, all right? A, a pagan holiday with these Christians, you know, worship, and it's been passed on from generations, Okay? It says within five years, virtually every state was observing the day. And in 1914, U.S. President Woodrow Wilson made it a national holiday. OK, so he made it a national holiday. This wasn't a day that the Lord gave the children of Israel. You so-called Negroes, uh, Latinos, and you Native Americans and you Simeon Indians. The Lord gave us certain, you know, holidays because you go to holiday it means, you know, Holy, okay, so holy days, all right. So we have the Sabbath, we have the Feast of Tabernacles, we have the uh, the Passover, we have a uh, Hanukkah, okay, various different uh days, okay. You got the new moon, all right. The Lord didn't give us uh, 
Mother's Day. Okay, as you can see, it says U.S. President Woodward Wilson made it a national holiday, man. So it's throughout the nation of, of America, right? It says, although Jarvis had promoted the wearing of white carnation as a tribute to one's mother. It says the custom developed of wearing a red or pink carnation to represent a living mother or a white carnation for a mother who was deceased. Over time was expanded to include others, such as grandmothers and aunts who played mothering roles. What had originally been primarily a day of honor became associated with the sending of cards and giving of gifts, right? However, in protest against it, commercialization jarvis spent the last years of her life trying to abolish the holiday she had brought him to being right so um here in, in babylon man you know they um you know they have all different types of commercial and i'm sure it's all throughout the cross of the world where they have commercials where they have these mother's day gifts or or these vacations and, and you basically you know you gift your mother all right okay with, with, with these gifts to, to show your appreciation or, or your love okay which there's nothing wrong with that, but you you could do that on other days, and you can you know, you know you can you honor your mother and, and your father. You know, simply means just you know just listening to what they say as long as it's you know in the uh within the law. All right, okay. There's nothing wrong with doing something nice for your mom. I'm not saying that, but on on a day like this where all these other heathens and these other nations are doing it, and and they're so like, I'm going to just go down to uh, right here. So like, and I'm going to get back to, to that point. It says festivals honoring mothers and mother goddesses date to ancient times. Right. So festivals honoring mothers and mother goddesses, man. So you're honoring a, a, a goddess. OK. From ancient times, it said the, the figurines held a festival of Cybele, the great mother of the gods, as did the Greeks for goddess Rahia. Likewise, the Romans adapted the practice to their own pantheon. Pathian. It says some countries have continued to observe ancient festivals. For example, Durga Puja, uh, honoring the goddess of Durga, remain an important festival in India. OK, so this day, you know, goes all the way back. OK, it goes all the way back to to these these false gods, man, these these mother gods, man. All right. And we all know if you've been paying attention to the elders and, and you know, the breakdown that this is the Roman uh, revival, man. This is the rebirth of Rome of Rome. OK, so there's nothing new under the sun. If they did it back then, they're going to do it here today, man. And these Christians, right, these, these Israelites, they are blind, man. And they cannot even see what they're worshiping, man. They don't know what they worship. OK. And they don't know that they're going off. OK. But that's why the prophets, you know, the men of the Lord are set here today to set the record straight and let them know that they're going off. All right. Now, I got a, um, a couple of uh, precepts. OK. And and the spirit was crazy because, you know, uh, some of my family members, they, you know, like we, we're supposed to be like Clark Kent, you know, and, and, and Superman. But, you know, some things, you know, you, you got to defend the gospel, man. And, and and my mother, you know, sent me this precept, not even realizing what it means. So this is uh, Ephesians six uh, and verse one. It says, children, obey your parents in the Lord for this is right. OK. So obey your parents in the Lord. The precept that she sent was two and three. I'm going to read it real quick. It says, honor thy father and mother, which is the which is the first commandment with promise that it may be well with thee and thou mayest live long on earth. OK, so it says children, obey your parents in the Lord. How do you obey your parents in the Lord? OK, you're doing the things that the Lord co commanded you to do, man, which was to keep these days, keep his commandments, you know, not be covetous, not steal, not murder. OK. Those, those are our are, are commandments, man, showing that brotherly love, the same type of love that you would show your parents, you know, listen to them, making sure you're doing the things that they ask as long as it's not going off, you know, going against the scriptures. OK, because that's where you have to draw the line and you have to be a man and show integrity for the Lord. How about Shimmy? I was shy, man. So she sent that, you know, and the first precept that I thought of, man, I went to uh, uh, Matthews. OK, Matthews 12. Uh, I'm going to start at verse 47. It says, Then one said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren stand without desiring to speak with thee. Okay, so this is uh, someone coming up to Yahweh Shai. And, and, and this was his answer. But he answered and said unto him, that told him, Who is my mother and who is my brethren? So the Lord, man, cussed them out like, Man, who, who is my mother and who is my brethren, man? 
You know, you coming up to me saying that my, my mother and my brother, they, they, they seek to speak with me. But who was my mother and who was my brother? Right. Uh, continuing on, it says, and he stretched forth his hand towards his disciples and said, behold, my mother and my brethren. For whosoever shall do the will of my father, which is in heaven, the same as my mother and sister and mother. OK, so if they ain't doing uh, if they ain't keeping the, the will of our Heavenly Father, man, which is keeping the faith by doing the law, statutes, and commandments, man, and not idolizing and, and, and worshiping these other gods, man, then look, that's your true, you know, brethren and, and your mother and your sister, all right? That, that's your family, all right? If they ain't doing that, then hey, man, they just, you know, they just there, you know, they just your fleshly family, but okay? You know, just by uh, according to the blood, because like the scriptures say, all Israel is not of Israel, man, all right? So... You know, that was a put that was a precept that I had pulled, you know, that I what I thought about. And um I'm gonna just go to uh, Deuteronomy real quick, you know, just a quick hit, man. You know, and this is going into as far as, you know, them serving all these other gods and we ain't supposed to be doing that, it's going the hell off, man. You worshiping these guys on these holidays, man, that's that's going off, man. And and my family need to repent. And if they don't, hey man, it, it's just gonna be Hey, this ain't the time to be playing with the Lord, man. Now is the time to repent, man. Okay? It's time to repent and, and, and turn away, man. And turn away from, from these false gods, man. But, you know, Jake don't want to listen, you know. These Christians don't want to listen. All right? So this is Deuteronomy 6 and 4. It says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our power is one Lord. Okay? I'm going to read it verbatim. It says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Okay, so it is one Lord. It ain't the goddess of, of, of the mothers. It ain't the goddess of fertility. It ain't the goddess of Baal and, and Ashtaroth. You know, we have one Lord, man. The nation of Israel has one Lord, man. All right? All these other gods and, and, and these lords, man, they're, they're, they're nothing but wood and stone, man. They can't save you. They can't give you eternal life. Okay? And y'all 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 idolize these damn gods like... like <clears throat> Like they're they're over our Lord, man, and and that's why the Lord said He He is a jealous God, man. Okay, because y'all y'all done committed the uh played the harlot by leaving your first love, which is the Lord Yahweh Bashim Shai, man. Okay, so I'm gonna read it in Hebrew. It says Shema Yashar Allah Yahweh Allah Hayanawa Yahweh Achud, and that's how you will say Deuteronomy six and four in, in the ancient uh, Paleo Hebrew, man. Okay, verse five it says Thou shalt love thy Lord thy power with all thine heart. And with thy soul and with all thy might. Okay. Um, uh, let's get uh, uh Saint John, okay? Because how do you how do you love the Lord, man? How how do you love the Lord, man? How do you do that? So like uh I think it's uh sixteen ish. Uh, love me. No, it's in John, so like you. And this damn app, man. Kind of St. John 14 and 15. It says, if ye love me, keep my commandments. Okay. Because you showing the, the, the true faith. All right. Of of loving the uh, Lord and, and believing on him. You're going to keep his commandments. Okay. Okay. The 613. We know that, you know, there's, uh we have the dietary. Okay. We have the, uh, the moral uh, laws. Okay. And we have the, uh. So like, I'm trying to think. So we got the dietary laws and, and, and the moral laws, all right? So going into the uh, the dietary laws, not eating, you know, shellfish and, and, and swine's flesh, man, pork, all right? And also uh, certain birds that you can't eat, man. And then as far as the uh, the moral laws, man, not committing adultery, all right? Not being covetous, all right? Not showing uh, envy and, and strife, 
okay? And then uh, another one, uh, going into that, man, as far as your appearances, man, you know, growing a, if you're a man, grow a beard, okay? Not mar the corners of your head and your beard. That mean no lineups and, and fades, man, okay? Th those are easy laws to keep, man. That's not hard to keep, man. And if you can do those things, that's keeping the faith, man. That's keeping the Lord's commandments, man. And those things are life, because what is it going to do? It's going to it's gonna take you away from wickedness, man. It's going to take you away from sinning, man. You're going to offend less, because now you're doing what's, a, what's uh, pleasing to the Lord, all right? And that's how you love the Lord, man, by keeping his commandments, man. Not idolizing and worshiping these false gods, man, especially these pagan-ass holidays, man, and Salaki for my French. You know, but this is just uh just was a quick little hit. You know, you can um so like you can just uh find us on uh Britain on the car. You could just look up Mother's Day if you want to go in uh, more in depth on the uh research, you know. Brothers can check that out. But hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, or Kodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, love, and salutations to the hopeful elect. Kwame Yasharala, Shalom.